often love to read about other children doing very naughty things. Think of the cautionary poems in Struel Peter or some of the Roald Dahl stories and poems. One writer who excelled at this was Hilaire Belloc, an Anglo-French writer who lived from 1870 to 1953. He was a poet, satirist, soldier and political activist. And he published a fabulous volume called Cautionary Tales for Children. One of the poems is about Henry King, who chewed bits of string. Or there's Rebecca, who slammed doors for fun and perished miserably. Or Matilda, who told lies and was burned to death. Some of these have been wonderfully read by the actor Stephen Fry. You might like to check those ones out. But one of the best amongst the cautionary tales for children is the fabulous poem about George, who played with a dangerous toy and suffered a catastrophe of considerable dimensions. So let me share with some friends of mine, Emma and Tom, this fabulous poem. When George's grandmama was told that George had been as good as gold, she promised in the afternoon to buy him an immense balloon. And so she did. But when it came, it got into the candle flame and being of a dangerous sort, exploded with a loud report. The lights went out, the windows broke, the room was filled with reeking smoke and in the darkness, shrieks and yells were mingled with electric bells and falling masonry and groans and crunching as of broken bones and dreadful shrieks when, worst of all, the house itself began to fall. Tottered, shuddering to and fro, then crashed into the street below, which happened to be Savile Row. When help arrived, among the dead were Cousin Mary, Little Fred, the footman, both of them, the groom, the man that cleaned the billiard room, the chaplain and the still room maid, and, I am dreadfully afraid, that Monsieur Champignon, the chef, will now be permanently deaf. And both his aides are much the same, while George, who was in part to blame, received, you will regret to hear, a nasty lump behind the ear. The moral is that little boys should not be given dangerous toys. I hope you've enjoyed the fabulous tale about George and the catastrophe of considerable dimensions. <laughs>